Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. I'm back today with the December 2020 release from Picket Fence Studios. As I've done in the past few months, I'm going to take you through all the products and show you what I have created with them. So those of you that have been following along will know that Picket Fence have released a number of slimline products over the past few months. Um, lots of stencils, um, a slimline die cutting system and this month there is a slimline stamp set. But I'm going to start by showing you this. This is a slimline wave stencil. Um, obviously it will be really good for sea scenes and it will pair beautifully with a set that I'm going to show you um, in a little bit but I decided to just use it to create um, an interesting background. So for my card I used Distress Oxide inks and I blended them through the stencil and then I took the Love Your die and it does have a shadow um, die with it so I was able to use the shadow die to cut out a window and then I um, stacked up the Love Your Sentiments uh, die cuts and just sort of popped them in that window. And this, sen uh, this sentiment here is actually from one of the sets that's coming up later. So I think this is a, just a really uh, fabulous background. It's quite busy, so um, I think it adds a lot of interest even on its own. Next up we've got the Slimline Cloud Coverage Stencil. I absolutely love this stencil. I've used it on two cards this month. You can obviously use it um, in its horizontal position across a Slimline card to create a really long scene. Um, I decided to use it in its vertical format and I created this um, Christmas card. So again, I used Distress Oxides uh, to blend down the panel and I also used the recently released Evergreen stencil, which I thought, um, I actually thought this, was, this might get lost a bit in the clouds. It's difficult to see here, but it's much more obvious in the card in real life. They, they do actually stand out really well against that cloud background. So, um, I really love this stencil. I, I want to use it obviously in its horizontal format. I just didn't get to do that this, this month. So there's that card for you. And I also used it on this card here. Um, this is just an A2 card and I've just used it with one colour of ink and I've blended across almost to the bottom of the panel. This lovely stamp set here is called Artist Dear. I think it was released earlier this year. I, it was before I was on the team, so I'm not sure of the exact date, but I really liked it. Obviously, for a crafter, it's a great set to have in your stash. And this grass edge here is from one of the stamp sets that I'm about to show you. But um, as I said, you could use this, this cloud coverage stencil for um, A2, for slimline, for all sorts. So it's a great investment. And this is the set that I used to create this little grass border. I double stamped it with two green inks. Um, obviously with a second heavier, darker ink, I just partly inked up the stamp to get that effect. So this is called A2 Tall Grass and Waves with Tiles and Wood Floors. So it does exactly what it says. You've got the little wave option there. You've got the grass option there, there is a wood floor and there is a tile floor. One of my friends on the design team has actually used this as a countertop. So um, there are different ways that you can use this. It doesn't always have to be for a flooring, but I thought I would use the grass one and have my little artist out in the sunshine painting away there with her dog. So that was that stamp set there. As I say, that is the uh, A2 version and we also have it in a slimline version. I haven't actually managed to use that yet this month so again this will work really well with the cloud um, stencil for you to create long horizontal scenes on a slimline card. Fabulous set and um, I hope I get to use that soon. So this is the new Burst of Sun stencil. This is a six by six stencil, so normal, um, normal size. Really love a sun stencil. This is the card that I decided uh, to make with it. 
This has actually been double stenciled. I first of all um, inked through, placed the stencil down, I inked through with Distress Oxides, um, three different shades of kind of reds, oranges and yellows. And then I laid down the Geo Squares stencil on top of that and I applied some more ink. You'll see the, you can see the kind of double stenciled effect quite easily if I hold it up there. I just thought it added a little bit more interest to, you know, a, a kind of fairly standard card and I wanted to step it up a little bit more. So I thought I would add a shaker element into it. So I die cut the circle out of the middle, obviously put my acetate on the back, filled it up with sequins and then I added my sentiment in the middle. I really like how this turned out and um, I just thought it made a bit of a change from having a one layer card or something and it gave me a chance to use up some of the beautiful sequins that I've got sitting here. Um, again, these are from Picket Fence these, and this is called Screwdriver, that's the name of the sequin set. So absolutely love them, really pretty oranges in those sequins. So the next two items I wanted to show you are another stencil, another 6x6, six six. this is called Corner Sun. I've actually used this in a very different way on my card, not as a sun at all. Again, another really useful stencil to have, obviously helps you position whatever corner you want to kind of have your rays coming down from. So um, a very versatile set as well. You've got the little circle there that you can obviously use in its kind of positive fashion to create a moon or, or, or a sun or something. So. There's that stencil there and then this set is called Do Good Recklessly and this is a really good set for all those budding singers out there and I decided to create a masculine card. I, I probably make about two cards for men every year if I'm lucky. I just find them very difficult to make but I think this is a great set for a man and also for a woman. But I don't know, when I saw it, I kind of thought about all those people that auditioned for these shows, you know, these talent shows trying to get their names out there. And it has some fantastic sentiments. You've got You Smashed It. I used the Hello on my Shaker card earlier. You've got Dream It, Believe It. I'm talking to you, man. It's got some, some fantastic sentiments. Now, I think many of you are going to be surprised at my card. I think if you're regular followers of me, you will think that this card is just completely out of character for me. And I think it is, but I did quite enjoy making it. It gave me an opportunity get, to get some paste out, which I never say no to. So this is the card that I made. I think it makes a great card. Um, I've used darker, kind of more masculine colours, I suppose. I took the Corner Sun stencil and I used it as if, um, you know, it was like broken glass or something. So the sentiment in this set called you smashed it there would have worked really well on this card because, you know, I in my mind that looked like a, you know, a broken glass that someone had, you know, sung and broken the glass because their voice was so amazing. I couldn't fit the sentiment into my design. So instead I took the dream it, believe it sentiment and I just separated the two words out and put them down separately. But the two pastes that I've used and I've combined them. So you've got like ocean poppy, which is a kind of tealy blue and artemisia silver. So I've mixed them in uh, together and then I just stamped the microphone onto black cardstock and I added silver embossing powder but I I actually wanted to stamp it stamp the actual stamp in black and put some glitter over it because I thought it would look you know like a mic microphones often look quite kind of twinkly and glittery and I thought it would be really fun to have a um, you know some glitter on there but I didn't think it would photograph well so in the end I just went for the silver but a completely out of character card for me and you know a little bit mixed media and m more messy than my normal style I guess but it's a it's a great set lots of fun and the design team have got really um, lots of amazing examples with with that set.
This next set is one of the largest stamp sets. This is, this is called a walk in the park. It does have a coordinating die set as well. So this is just, you've got your, your park scene stamp there and then you've got all these additional images of people that you can have taking a walk through the park. Really um, fun set and I have seen one of my friends on the team use it in a slimline format. I, I didn't do that, I've just got a normal A2 size card but I'm thinking that maybe these two edges um, join up so if you want to stamp next to each other they will actually join up. I don't know that for sure but she did use it in a slimline format so somehow she's made that work across the whole panel but it's a really 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 sweet set and there is some extra images that you can add. This is more for a walk in the park that's the name of the set. It does have a coordinating die and it's difficult to see the images are really small so you'd have to have a closer look on the website to see what the images are but you've got little old ladies you've got men carrying shopping people walking a dog two friends chatting with each other walking through the park carrying ice cream so there really is a lot of options and of course you can use this in conjunction with the um, with the cloud stencil as well, the slimline cloud stencil. So that is that set. And this is the card that I created. So I actually did some watercolouring for this card and I just stamped the scene once and, and watercoloured it and then I cut, cut one of the, I cut one of the images from more for, more for a walk in the park. It's difficult for me to get my teeth around that one. And I just, again, watercoloured those little images. So you've got two, two girls walking through the park chatting. So it's a really, really fun little set and I love the scene and you can make it as busy as you want. You've got so many different options for um, people to, to use in that scene. And then last but not least, this is a set called Leaves, with, uh, Leaves for Flowers. I didn't get to use that this month. Um, obviously you can use them on their own. You can just stamp a beautiful background using the leaves alone, or you can pair them with any of the kind of floral sets that are already released. And that does have a coordinating die set as well. Before I finish, I just wanted to add with this card here, as you know, I use the corner sun stencil but I thought this would pair fabulously with the wave stencil that I showed you at the beginning you could have the waves as a background obviously they look like musical waves so so many different ways that you can use this wave stencil as I say would have looked great behind um, behind the microphone I obviously chose to do something differently with it on that card so that brings me to the end of the release. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing a run through of it and um, seen how I've used some of the items on my card. I will link all the products in the description below and I do have an accompanying blog post where I have all the pictures of the cards up there and again links to the products so that you can click through and see them in more detail. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate uh, you joining me today and I will be back soon for an, with another video for you. Bye for now.